Fun Games in C Major. The left hand decided to take a walk from C with a second finger down to this C. This is middle C. So from treble C down to middle C. The right hand decided, well, that looks like fun. I'd like to copy you. The left hand says, sure, come along. But don't copy my last note. That's the finishing note. It's mine. Okay. The right hand says, could I bring a friend? So the left hand plays, the right hand copies, and adds the next door friend. And the left hand still gets to keep the last note. The right hand now wants to bring two friends. rhythm works like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if I would take the next step and go two, two, three, four, five, I would actually end up with a five beat rhythm. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You could do that, but it sounds kind of like a camel with five legs. So instead I'm going to switch to a rhythm that uses a six beat rhythm. I'm going to bring all my friends. So now the left hand plays the two on C, the right hand copies it with a thumb, and goes through all the fingers. This is a great rhythm for trying alternating directions. So instead of start my right hand going the other way like this. So my left hand will play the starting note. And now my right hand goes this way. And that's really fun if you can play it fast. normally and I'm going to stop on G. I'm not going to copy G. And then I'm going to turn it upside down on this key. That sounds really nice because these last notes spill right into the finished note. Now the left hand has had all the fun. The right hand now wants to lead. So the right hand will take a walk up to the right. And now the left hand wants to copy, but the right hand says, I get the finish note. All right. Now the left hand is going to copy and step down with one friend. In my opinion, going from this A to the C, actually sounds a little bit unsatisfactory. So instead of directly copying and then stepping down, I'm going to switch that pattern in the left hand around. I'm going to play two and three, two, two. Now I'm going to add some more friends. I could do this. And I could add all the friends. But I also like trying going in another direction. I'm going to try it now with these three fingers. I'll play this C, pick up with the fourth finger. skip down.
All of these patterns are transposable to other scales. And we'll get into that in a different video. So that's an introduction to how fun pattern games can be.